Wallpaper, paint colors, and other wall surface materials can be applied to all walls in a room, to individual walls, or to horizontal sections of either an individual wall or an entire room. Let's go into the program and take a look. Using the Select Objects tool, select the room. Be sure to position the cursor on the floor, avoiding the area rug, and double-click to display the room specification dialog. Click the Materials panel, click on the word Walls in the list of materials, and click the Select Material button. In the Select Material dialog, browse to the desired material. In this case, we will select a paint color that I have saved in the User Catalog file. Click on the User Catalog, click Gray, and click OK to close both the Select Material and Room Specification dialogs. To apply wallpaper to an individual wall, select the individual wall that you want to change. Double click to display the wall specification dialog. On the materials panel, click on the words interior wall surface in the list, then click the library material button. In the select library objects dialog, browse and select a material, then click OK to close both the select library object and wall specification dialogs and apply the selected material. To apply a second material to the walls, open the room specification dialog by double clicking inside the room. Position the cursor on the floor, again avoiding the area rug. Go to the wall covering panel, click the add new button to open the select material dialog. In the Library Materials panel, select a wallpaper material. Here I will expand the bonus catalog file and the fabric wallpaper catalog. Click on the material Stripe Corduroy. Then click OK to close the Select Material dialog and return to the Room Specification dialog. Because we are adding a material to the bottom section of the wall, it is best to start with zero for the floor to bottom height. Then enter the height of the bottom material section. In this case, we want the wallpaper to stop at the chair rail. The height is 35 and 5 eighths. You can select additional wall coverings by clicking the Add New button and repeating the previous steps. Place different wall coverings at different heights so that they will all be visible and not cover one another. To replace a wall covering, select it from the drop-down list and click the Replace button. To delete a wall covering, select it from the Wall Covering drop-down list, then click the Delete button. When you are satisfied with your wall covering selections, Click OK to close the dialog and apply your changes. The changes can be seen in the 3D view. To learn more, please see the built-in help menu and our support articles available on the Home Designer Software website. And thanks for watching the video.